Hello, it's Barney from Cyberfrog here, and in this video, we're going to look at Contact Form 7. So at the moment, we're on the tutorial site, and I'll go through to the contact page. Now, almost every website on the internet has a contact form, and this is an easy way for your customers to communicate with you. Uh, we've got one down here on the bottom. Now, as you can see, it's only got basic um, input, like your name, your email, the phone, your subject. Uh, and we're going to look at how you can make your own and also how you put them into pages and posts. So first off, you want to go to your dashboard. So we're clicking up here. And we'll go down to contact here. Now if it's not installed, you go to plugins, add new and go to contact form 7. Um, it's just a search box and you just install that. So once you've done that, you can go to contact here, uh, contact forms. And in here we've got three different contact forms. Now, the standard normal one that comes with it is the contact form one. Uh, and these are two others that have been used on this website. So we're gonna go and make a new one. This, this will give you the uh, skills to edit other ones in the future. So first off, you go to the top, add new, and then add new here. And you've been brought into the contact form page. Now, this top box here allows you to name it. So we're going to call this brand new contact form. This is just so you can distinguish it in the list um, on the contact page. So you can actually add it into your page instead of adding another one. So if we click save on that and just make sure it's all in there. And there we go. It says contact form is created. Now, you just do this after every change you make. Uh, and it'll be saved and it will update in immediately no matter where the page uh, where the contact form is on any page so if you first go down to form now this is where your contact form is so you've got text areas which are your name your email and the subject and so on but you've also got these titles now this coding around the side is quite important so if at any point you lose it try and find the other version let's say above or if you if you break it somehow just copy the one above or create a new one and copy it back out this is the simplest way to set up contact forms but if we want to change something let's say your subject you remove that uh, or you can just remove the subject box between the two square brackets and go over to here where it says generate tag now in here you'll be given a list of uh, tags that you can use so they're all like different text boxes or spin boxes or drop down boxes that you can use uh, for your contact form. Now we're going to add a phone number one. And a rule of thumb is that the telephone number box is only good for American numbers. It has a mask on it that makes it a little weird to read when it comes to on your email. So what I would do is click on here and just get a text field. You can name it phone which gives it the name, so like this one called email, and this one's called, yeah, sorry, this one's called your email, and this one's called your name and your message. Uh, you can give it a default value, so when the person clicks on the box, it'll have a value, so we're gonna call it contact number. But you can also use this as a placeholder. Now, a placeholder is the text that's inside a box instead of having a label. It's like having the label in the background of the box. And once you've done that, you can select whether it's a required field, Give it some IDs, a max length. Now, phone numbers in the UK are generally 11 digits unless you put the plus 44. So we're gonna go for 13 just in case. And there we go. So if you now go to here, it says copy this code and paste it into the form on the left. This is the new code that goes in between the two P tags. So there you go, you got your new square. And you can change this title here to contact number. Now that that's in there, you want to add it to your email. Now this email gets sent to you as soon as someone submits something on the contact form. And you're going to need to take this code here where it says phone, copy, and go down to your email box. Now this mailbox allows you to customize how the email looks when it gets sent to you. Now we've changed the subject form here, and we're going to add phone. So you then just paste the new box, and that will put the phone number in there. On the left hand side you can add the email that it goes to, uh, what it says it's from, so you could have it as the customer's name and a email, your email for the website. Uh, you can change the reply to email but also the subject. 
Now we don't have a subject anymore, so you can just copy the name Ooh, and paste that in there. Paste. And we can give it the email style again. So we'll copy that through. Now I can't show you how the email works as this isn't set up on a server that allows me to. But once you click submit, you'll get an email that looks identical to this through to the email that you pop in here. So now that we've done that, we've edited our, uh, our contact form. Uh, we want to go up to save, so make sure it's all saved. And there we go. We've now got copy this code. Now this code is what you want to paste into the page. And we're going to just copy it for now and keep it so it's saved. Um, and we'll go through to the pages. Now our contact form is in the contact page, but you can go through to any of your pages, create a new one, or add these to posts. So I'm going to click on the contact page. And I'm going to scroll down to where the contact form used to be. There we go. And I'm just going to paste that in there. There we go. There's our new contact form. Now all we have to do is save it. So update. And we're going to go to view page now that it's updated. Now I'll just point out what placeholder is when we get to it. There we go. There's our contact form on the right hand side. We've got our new contact number. This text inside is the contact number's placeholder. Now you can completely replace each uh, label up here with a uh, placeholder, which is becoming a more modern standard, but this is just fine as it is. So once you start typing in it, that disappears. And when you remove, it comes back. So now that we've got that, let's say we want to add a new placeholder in here and in here. We'll go back to the dashboard. And we'll go to contact and we'll find our brand new contact form. Now if I click on that, here we go. Now instead of adding new emails, uh, new email fields or new name fields, you can just copy a little bit of this code here where it says placeholder. Uh, you just copy it and then you paste it just after the name and replace this in here email with the text you want in there. Now this is meticulous and it is a little bit dangerous that you might break it. So if you feel that you're not confident enough with the way the code set out, you can just generate a new tag text field and add a place for holder by tick box in this box here. So we've got that in there. I'm just going to change this to name and remove the titles. There we go. Save. And the contact form is saved. We'll go back to our main website and go through to the contact page. There we go. Now you've got your modern placeholder names inside the boxes. So there we go. You now know how to use contact forms seven.